Hello and welcome back to Humans and Society. This video is the introduction to the subject Trends, Networks, and Critical Thinking in 21st Century Culture. This course provides opportunities for students to discover patterns and extract meanings from emerging trends. It aids in developing their critical and creative thinking skills essential tools for decision-making and understanding ethics of care. Global trends in the 21st century are examined and are either accepted or rejected on a sound set of criteria. Students will be asked to create and analyze scenarios that will challenge them to formulate their stances on issues or concerns, propose interventions, and formulate alternative futures. The students will realize the interconnections between their neural connections and social realities. For this lesson, the content standard is for the learner to understand the emergence of trends and patterns, and the lesson objectives are to define and identify a trend, differentiate trend from fad, and recognize the elements and characteristics of a trend. What is a trend? A trend is a direction of change or development. In business, it usually indicates an upward or downward direction in sales or profit. In social media, it describes something that is becoming popular or accepted to the general population. On the other hand, a fad is an intense enthusiasm for something shared by people of common interest. It is a collective behavior that is quick to spread but is usually short-lived. It is also known as a craze and may include food, clothing, hairstyles, habits, toys, hobbies, or dance. Trends and fads get mistaken as the same because of similarities. It is important to identify a trend from a fad, especially in business. These are the basic elements or characteristics of a trend. The first is idea or innovation. Ideas may be too many out there, but people are always on the lookout for something new. That is innovation. These may refer to finding new solutions to old problems or finding new problems to solve. The second is consistency. When new ideas are introduced, acceptability is increased among people if they find it applicable as a solution or answer to their situation. It does not immediately fade, but rather develops a growing interest among people and stay as part of culture. The third is impact. It brings change and develops people and systems. It has a lasting effect on organizations and business systems and becomes more widely acceptable to a majority of people who expect to benefit from it. To consider something a trend, there should be the presence of all these elements. But to spot an idea that would develop into a trend could be difficult, especially for business organizations or marketing agencies trying to introduce something new in the field that will make a difference in the way they do business. Generally, the best advice given about trends is by Frank Capra. Don't follow trends. Start trends. The ideas discussed in this lesson are based on the content standards of the Department of Education. Thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson.